Hi, welcome to the YouTube channel. This is Alphabet Animal Kingdom. O is for otter. So let's have a blob here and inside the circle a pretty big oval. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my lines here and then bring them in. And then there's the nose. So let's go ahead and go around here, in and out, around, in and out. And then I'm going to darken this part right here, turn my line to kind of like make an anchor. And yeah, there we go. So this is wider there. Isn't that cute? <laughs> and then the eye is right near the nose and right at this spot here. And they're pretty small. And that's what makes it look cute. So the eyes are far away from each other. There's the top of the head. That's the ear. And great. So I'm going to kind of sketch my picture. I'm looking at a picture. Oh, don't forget that part. And I'm going to turn this for the arm. And then once I have the arm, I'm going to do a flat circle oval here, oval, and a blob behind it. There's the body, there's the neck, and here it's where it's um, on the water. So let's start to shade it in, but I forgot to erase my extra lines. So quickly erase your extra lines if you need to, and I'm going to start shading it in. But you can color this in, you can use markers, you could use crayons, colored pencils, whatever you want. But I like to use the pencil to show you my work. I love drawing the whiskers. I always forget. <laughs> so they're kind of turned lines and you can just leave it like this if you want to, but I'm going to keep going and show you how I would shade this in and shade in the fur. So it's going to do a couple of layers of building this up. So if you have a 4B or 6B pencil, you might want to use that. So I'm going to go ahead and, ooh, I made a little long right there. So I'm going to go back and forth so it's not too long because the fur is not that long. Um, I always try to go the same stroke, the same length of the fur. Make it dark as it hits the um, water. Here's the belly. I'm going to fill this in. It's pretty solid right there. And I'm going to just get a nice steady shading this in. Take your time. I'm going pretty fast and I've also sped this up. So um, you look at the picture to get the direction of the fur. Like where is the fur growing and where is it going? I think that really helps as well. So I'm going to go ahead and shade this here and shade the nose and it's super dark and it's I'm going to try to get rid of all the white as much as possible from the paper to make it look super awesome. So I'm really pressing down hard over there and getting some texture. Oh, there's a wiggle 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 for the fur for as it goes off the head into the air. <laughs> Yeah, let's go in the direction of the fur. Keep going, have some fun with this. I love watching otters. Um, I go to any aquarium as often as I can and otters are just so much fun as they play and just have so much fun in the water with each other and um, with the toys that they have. So take your time with shading this in and watch how I, which directions I go or look in the comments below for the picture, the image for the link. But most images of otters kind of look like this. So it doesn't have to be the exact same image that you need to look at. So thank you so much for, oh, let's draw the water. Just some soft lines here and it's going to be really dark underneath here where the shadow is. Yeah, thank you so much for tuning in, liking, subscribing. Please enjoy.